So it was a big day for America. Whoa. Trump is like a, looking like a rock star. Wow, the images. You saw that on TV today? Holy smokes. Trump is stopping the nuclear war from happening. Ho, ho, ho. You hear the liberal hearts. You heard all the, all the hearts, all the liberal lunatics on the left trying to come up with a reason why Trump... Why, why Trump's efforts are a failure. Watch, CNN and MSNBC, they'll start spinning it. It was a great day in America to see Trump. Donald J. Trump, President of the United States. So, going over there, the images that went around the world of the, of the, the, the North Korean unstable crazy man that everybody thought he was, Kim Jong-un, right? And, and Trump diffused that whole thing, right? Now, is it, is it show? Is there any truth to, to, you know, North Korea de-arming and, and, um, you know, peace in the region and, and all that stuff? <laughs> Who knows, right? It doesn't matter. Perception is very powerful. That's a very, that was, you know, Reagan, that was a Reagan move right there where Ray, you know, that's Trump's strength right there. Trump, Trump is an actor. You gotta give him credit for it, right? Got to give Trump credit for what he did today, right? It's a great day for the uh, Korean people, the South Korean people. Uh, Trump discovered that a lot of their 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 issue was that they wanted the remains back of the dead, the, the grandparents from seven years of seventy years of war, seventy years ago war. So they're going to do it, right? Now, if Trump gets a gets the uh, U.S. A United States embassy in Pyongyang, whatever made that city is in in North Korea. It's a grand slam. It's a grand slam. But for North Korea, it's it's there's a lot of flexing going on because the the, no, the idea that North Korea and the United States of America are equal in in might and arms and force and influence. It's ridiculous. Of course, that's it's not equal. It's a, it's a North Korea is the equivalent of a kid brother, not even, right? But the perception for the North Korean people, we may not really, unless we're Korean and we really know the story or how North Korea, the North Korean people perceive that, right? Perceive their leader siding with this country that they were, I don't know, told that we were evil and bad and we eat our children and all this stuff. Right? Who even knows? It's a closed border, right? But it was it's a great day because because the image of you know, you, you roll the clock back, six months ago the liberal left was saying Trump's going to start, a, he's going to he's going to cause a war over there. He's going to start you know, he's, the North North Korea is going to throw a bomb at South Korea. It's going to level it. Japan's going to sink. You know, it's destabilize the whole fucking place. And and here comes here comes Trump, smiling, and they were shaking hands. They had a good time. You can't, you can't, you gotta like, you know, you gotta give credit where credit is due. That was a great day, a great a, a great day in that region. Whether it's it's on paper or whether they they have the go what what comes out of the negotiations from here on in, it doesn't matter. No sitting president has ever has ever done that, you know. Well, in modern history, because North Korea was never a threat anyway. And the idea that North Korea would somehow come back and be part of South Korea is a bit fictionish, fictionist, because. I mean, just like in, in Germany, West, West Germany, East Germany. East Germany had drifted so far in culture and, and um, that the coming together of those two places, I guess it happened, but can it happen in North Korea and South Korea? South Korea, a booming democracy, a booming economy, a, a, a you know, robustly part of the, the Western world, the Western trade. Could it ever? Could it ever come back together? Are they really one people? Could it ever come back together? 
with uh, North Korea? And who would run the place? Would it be the northern people or the southern people? It's not really likely, but if there is peace and open borders in North Korea where there's actually, you know, you know, maybe free trade and stuff, it would, it would, it would, Trump, Trump's got his, <laughs> Trump's got his, his footprint all over this. Right? So we have to give him kudos for that. My name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter, and loving this news today. Peace.